Ever wondered why your cash disappears faster than a magic trick? Unveil the mystery as we expose Apple's sly wallet draining moves. Brace yourself for the shocking truth. Welcome to Money Doc TV, a channel dedicated to entrepreneurs who risked it all to create today's most iconic brands. Let's get started. In the vast landscape of tech giants, Apple stands tall with a staggering market value of $2.7 trillion and counting. The recent launch of the iPhone 15 has only fueled their upward trajectory. But beneath the surface lies a tale of how Apple sneakily empties your pockets, how Apple secretly drains your wallet. The roots of Apple stretch back to 1976 when visionaries Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne planted the seeds of innovation. The Macintosh in 1984 marked the beginning of Apple's market-altering endeavors, setting a precedent for a legacy of groundbreaking products. From iPhones to iPads, Apple consistently introduced products that reshaped the tech landscape. In the world of technology, Apple has mastered the art of innovation and captivated consumers with groundbreaking products. One of their latest offerings, the Apple Vision Pro, has been hailed as one of the most significant technological leaps in history. However, with a hefty price tag of $3,500, it seems like an elusive dream for many. Little do consumers know that this seemingly steep cost is a small piece of a larger strategy that Apple has been employing for years, a strategy designed to brand your brain and subtly drain your wallet. Okay, let's look at the VR industry and Apple's disruptive move. The virtual reality, also known as the VR industry, has faced challenges in gaining popularity with consumers because of high costs and its still new concept. But Apple's entry into this field is intentional and strategic. The Vision Pro, their VR device, stands out by being an all-in-one gadget, not requiring extra devices for setup. This distinguishes it from other VR products, moving away from being a mere prototype to a complete standalone computing system. This shift may be the key to making VR more accessible and user-friendly. Apple's deliberate approach seems to address the hurdles faced by the VR industry, aiming to make immersive experiences more mainstream and seamless for everyday users. With the Vision Pro, Apple is not just entering the VR market, it's reshaping the landscape by simplifying the technology and making it more practical for widespread adoption. Apple has a way of setting prices called a skimming strategy, and it's worth taking a closer look at how it works. Apple, a company that became the first to reach a trillion dollars in value, has been using this strategy for a while. What they do is, when they release a new product like the Vision Pro, they start by setting a high price. This helps them make up for the money they spent developing the product quickly so they can start making a profit sooner. The iPhone released in 2007 serves as a prime illustration of this concept. Initially, the 4GB version had a price tag of $499, while the 8GB variant was set at $599. Apple's strategy here is straightforward. Starting with a slightly higher price allows them to recoup their expenses more quickly and turn a profit sooner rather than later. This approach helps offset the initial production and development costs associated with bringing a new product to market. By setting prices at a level that consumers are willing to pay, Apple can strike a balance between covering their investment and making the product accessible to a broad audience. This pricing tactic not only supports the company's financial sustainability, but also ensures the widespread availability of innovative products that have become integral to modern technology use. Apple strategically adjusts its prices as a product matures using what's called a price ladder tactic. This means they offer various versions of a product with diverse features and prices. The idea is to match the customer's decision-making journey, influencing them to spend more on extra features. It's a subtle way of guiding customers to move up the pricing ladder. This approach takes into account the psychology of consumer choices, recognizing that people go through a process before deciding to buy. Apple's strategy is to cater to different preferences and budgets, making their products accessible to a broader audience. By offering a range of choices, they make it more likely for customers to find a product that suits their needs and, in the process, encourage them to consider higher priced options. In essence, Apple's price ladder tactic is a shrewd method to appeal to a diverse customer base and maximize sales throughout a product's life cycle. The Vision Pro, priced at $3,500, fits into a larger trend for Apple. Despite its seemingly high cost, 
It marks only the start of what the company has in store. Apple plans to release additional versions down the line, targeting various types of customers and broadening its overall market presence. This move aligns with Apple's strategy of providing diverse options to meet the needs and preferences of a wide range of consumers. By introducing more variants, Apple aims to strengthen its position in the market and attract a broader audience. This approach has proven successful in the past, as Apple has consistently adapted to evolving consumer demands and preferences. Therefore, while the Vision Pro may appear pricey, it serves as a strategic move by Apple to not only meet current expectations, but also to pave the way for future growth and expansion in the competitive tech market. Let's talk about how Apple maintains a premium brand image. Apple's triumph isn't just about how they set prices for their products. They've built a fancy image for their brand through the years. All their things, like the iPhone and Vision Pro, look cool and special, showing off a vibe of being creative and doing things their way. When Steve Jobs came back to Apple in 1997, he made things simpler by cutting out stuff that didn't fit the brand's style. Focusing on making things that wow people has kept Apple looking like a super cool brand. Moving to the Vision Pro, priced a bit higher, fits well with Apple's brand. It's not just a thing you buy, it's more like a special experience. Among many others, it stands out. Apple is very careful with how they make things. Every product they put out shows how dedicated they are to coming up with new ideas and being really good at what they do. The Vision Pro is another example of that dedication. It's not just about having the latest tech. It's about having something that's really well-made and cool. That's what Apple is all about. They want to make sure that when you get one of their things, you're getting something that's top-notch and worth it. The Vision Pro is like that. It's a step above the rest and that's why it's worth the price. Apple's strategy for selling the Apple Vision Pro, priced at $3,500, to create a top-notch brand identity that extends beyond specific gadgets. Not only that, enter the price ladder, a tactic employed by Apple to convince customers to spend more by offering lower spec options at slightly lower price points. Choosing between a regular iPhone 15 at $799 and an iPhone 15 with a marginally larger screen at $899 is a prime example. Apple masterfully guides customers through the latter. Despite criticism, Apple continues to leverage premium pricing to establish a social status quo. Owning an Apple product, particularly the latest iPhone, has become synonymous with affluence and capability. Brand loyalty and agnosticism have taken center stage, where owning an Apple product becomes a shared identity, fostering a community of users. Once you enter the Apple ecosystem, convenience becomes a driving force for further purchases. Apple seamlessly integrates its products, such as the Apple Watch, which operates more efficiently when paired with an iPhone. The interconnected features, from FaceTime to AirDrop, create an environment that encourages users to bring their friends into the fold. Apple's ecosystem effect is a strategic move to keep you investing in its products. While enjoying the perks of the Apple ecosystem, users are introduced to a slew of free trials, Apple Arcade, expandable iCloud storage, and Apple TV. However, these trials are fleeting and once they expire, users face the dilemma of either paying for convenience or dealing with incessant push notifications. iCloud, in particular, poses a challenge with its meager 5GB of free storage, pushing users towards paid subscriptions. The company aims to position itself as a symbol of sophistication and style, appealing to those seeking functionality and exclusivity. The company's success extends beyond selling devices. It focuses on a lifestyle and premium experience that goes hand in hand with its products. When thinking about buying an Apple product, it's not only about the gadget itself, but also about the brand and the overall experience. Apple has become a big player in the tech world through a well-thought-out strategy. Their products are not just functional, they aim to provide a user-friendly and enjoyable experience. The brand has successfully created a strong connection with consumers, making them loyal supporters of Apple. The sleek design, user interface, and seamless integration across devices contribute to the overall appeal. Apple's dominance in the tech industry is not just about gadgets, 
It's a result of consistently delivering products that resonate with users and a brand image that stands out. So, when contemplating an Apple purchase, consider the holistic package, the device, the brand, and the experience that has propelled Apple to its prominent position in the technology landscape. We really hope you enjoyed today's video, How Apple Secretly Drains Your Wallet. Be sure to leave a like and comment below on what you loved about our video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss another great video. Until next time, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember, no dream is too big.